Say, okay, all those, the shackles are off. You just, uh, you know, you just fly this thing to the edge of its performance envelope and test out this autopilot. Give it the most demanding test that you can think of. Can the new Avidyne DFC-90 autopilot, with its straight and level button, recover from truly extreme, unusual attitudes? You know, we looped it, we rolled it, we did half Cubans, Immelmans. Now this Cirrus SR-22 G3 is certificated experimental. Uh, Dave's aerobatics were legal. You know, we did a variety of extreme maneuvers to test the autopilot. So did it pass? It has some limitations in its performance. Its maximum roll rate is about 22 degrees per second. So it, it's less than the full deflection of the controls that the pilot would be able to use. It also pulls a maximum of about 2.3 to 2.5 Gs. You know, in an extreme situation, a pilot may want to pull harder than that to recover. So it's not as good as having Sean Tucker in the airplane to, re to recover it, but it's awfully impressive in, in, in that it knows where it is and it knows how to recover. And it does it in a decisive and authoritative way. We saw the straight and level function and the envelope protection function as two things that would have a very significant impact on a meaningful number of the, the accidents. So that's why we elected to do those as uh, you know, obviously the DFC-90 is our first autopilot, and so these were a couple of features that we added that we thought would have an immediate impact on safety. Everything from steep banks and spirals left and right to, um, to, the, to up to and including, you know, in, an inverted attitude. And in all cases, you know, the autopilot recovered decisively, authoritatively, and quickly. Now, Avidyne doesn't claim that the straight and level button will recover from all situations. This autopilot op operates off servos for the elevator and the ailerons. So in a spin, you know, it would have no, it would not have any rudder input, so it could not recover from a, from a spin. This system could lead to promising new areas like small aircraft auto land and automated terrain avoidance. That, uh, that this system in which the airplane knows where it is, what the terrain around it is, what the airports nearby are, it's, um, you know, we're just at the very beginning of this, of this very exciting new area that I think is going to lead to huge changes and many great safety features to come. I'm Warren Morningstar, AOPA Live.